A top 10 win at the Dunkin' Donuts Center for the Providence Friars. They knock off Seton Hall 74-71, joined by Ed Cooley. And Coach, how did your team put it together tonight? Well, I thought we were gritty. Uh, I thought we were tough defensively. I mean, Alpha Diallo played like a, you know, like, like he was shot out of a cannon. Um, even though we had the big lead, I, I, you know, the game was never over when you play a team like that. They're number 10 in the country for a reason. Um, very talented, and you know, Powell starts making shots like that. Once the little guy gets cooking, he's hard to stop. How much does Alpha embody what you want in a Providence College player? Yeah, if we can bottle that up and recruit that, you know, if we can bottle that up, and I think this is a second straight great game, not good game, great game, we're going to need that as well as others to step up for us to try to make a run here late in the season. You talked about Khalif Young's presence tonight physically. This Seton Hall team has been known for a physical pedigree. Just how pleased were you with the way that you matched up and went after it? Yeah, I mean, between uh, Khalif, Nate, Greg Gant, who was a silent assassin. You know, I mean, the Big East is a physical league. It's a physical league. Um, it's a great league from top to bottom, and uh, I think I'm really fortunate to be one of the coaches. How key is short memory? You better have a short memory quick here in our league, boy, because uh, there are rough days sometimes, rough days, and uh, we're fortunate to win today. I've always heard, Coach, Friartown magic. The feeling was in the air tonight. I mean, it was electric in the building, uh, pink out, um, you know, for cancer awareness. Uh, it was divine providence today. Today was, it was meant to be for the Friars today. All right. Go from this rock and dunk to an easy like Sunday morning tomorrow. I'm definitely going to have easy Sunday morning. <laughs> I appreciate it. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>